This is tutorial number eight, and it covers the product tree within Katia v5. To start off, open up the fishing reel step file, which is located on the DVD. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of the product tree in Katia v5. So your product tree is your tree on the side here, and it includes uh, your assembly, your parts, all your all the features that go in to make up your part. Now if you open up, if you click to expand, you can click and expand and go down levels to see everything with your part. So in your tree menu, you're going to have all the features, all the steps, and it's going to show you and list everything that is taken to create that component, your part, and the assembly. Now if you click F3, you're able to uh, toggle the visibility of your product tree. And if you have a roller on your mouse, you're able to roll up and down and move your product tree. When you, ha when you get into more complicated assemblies and products, you're going to have to scroll down as there's going to be a product tree that is just massive. Now, if you ever click on a bit of the branch such as this, you'll notice that your whole assembly turns gray. Now, sometimes you think there might be something wrong, but really there's nothing wrong with your assembly. When you turn it gray, all the options that you use for the mouse buttons to zoom in and zoom out for your product now applies to your tree. So if we try to zoom in and zoom out, it changes how large or how small the tree's visibility is to us. So if you need to look in a little bit deeper, zoom in. If your product tree is too big and you want to pull it back, you zoom out. So this just gives you the option when you click on it to zoom in and zoom out and adjust how big and how small your product tree is. To exit out of this, all you have to do is click on the tree again and your part's going to go back to its normal visibility. And when you go to zoom in and zoom out, it's going to be on your part. And that concludes our tutorial on the product tree within Katia V5.